Hi, I'm Charles with Anycap. Previously, Bai was accepted as a disciple to become an immortal. In the immortal realm, Bai would discover that his chosen walk is able to double the power of anything he puts in it. However, he loses some lifespan when he does. Later, Bai heads to the Bloodstream Sector in search of the Relic of Eternity. He wears a disguise to conceal his identity, and after being bullied relentlessly, he ends up demonstrating that he is the strongest person in the Bloodstream Sector, even while only using their own secret techniques. After this, he successfully manages to comprehend the Sacred Pill of Ruin, and is on his way to becoming a master of the medicinal path. The story continues as observers point out that Yi Zhang has locked himself inside his home for over a month. He just comprehended a bit of the pill wall, and they question if he is really capable of refining a grade 4 elixir. Diviner hears that all the plant resources have been sent to Yi Zhang, and he can't understand why the sector places so much importance on his refining. Just then, things start to go wrong and Yi Zhang's refining backfires, as Jun watches and is shocked to see that elixir refining can be this terrifying. Bai, who is still pretending to be Yi Zhang, points out that he just barely managed to survive the failed refinement, and begins to wonder what went wrong. He is certain that there was no mistake during potency refinement, and thinks the problem happened when the elixir was taking shape. He realizes that the pill crumbled from the inside out this time, and determines that it has something to do with the air it absorbed. Bai gives it another shot, but this time he uses some other herbs to neutralize the air. He is much more confident this time, but is shocked to see that the furnace is going to explode again. Those in town are furious, as they are in more danger than ever, and we see that Diviner is completely beside himself, as the home he got to replace the one taken from him by Yi Zhang is completely destroyed. He wants to fight Yi Zhang directly, but ends up getting hit by a furnace instead. June's concern increases as she realizes that if this continues, then not even she will be able to suppress everyone's fury. Bai shows his determination as he attempts to refine the elixir again, and points out how great the bloodstream sector is. Not a single person has come to vent their frustration, and he points out how different that is compared to the spirit stream sector. He is certain that this next refinement will be the one that makes the grade 4 elixir, but he is wrong. The vicious cycle of him failing and the resulting havoc that it creates goes on several times. The chaos reaches its peak as we see that Song's cultivation at the waterfall is interrupted, and he decides it's time to act. Wuji wonders if Yi Zhang is going a bit overboard, but the Patriot Song thinks that this is how a Blood Sector disciple should behave. It's so different, when other refined elixirs, it's like lukewarm water, but when Yi Zhang refines elixirs, there is continuous thunder in the sky and astonishing energy. June is credited with taking Yi Zhang under her care, as the Patriarch is glad to see how unorthodox he is. Bai continues refining and thinks that he has a good chance this time, as long as he does exactly what he's doing for another hour. However, he isn't able to as he comes under attack by Song. Bai manages to avoid the attack while also protecting the cauldron. Song doesn't allow Yi Zhang to speak at all though, and just goes in for another attack. Yi Zhang does his best to protect the Patriarch's elixir that he is trying to make, but finds it to be very difficult as Song has made it his goal to destroy the cauldron. Yi Zhang does a good job protecting it, but notices that its temperature is beginning to drop. Song persists though, so Yi Zhang explains that if Song doesn't stop, then he will have to stop holding back. Song gains the upper hand as he cracks the cauldron, causing it to begin exploding, but is shocked when Yi Zhang sends it back to him. Just then, Bai comes to a realization. The key is not to neutralize the air inside the furnace, but to draw it out, and let it disperse slowly. Yi Zhang begins to thank Song for his contribution, but Song is just as furious as ever. His attack is stopped by Jun, who explains that if Song wants to harm Yi Zhang, then he will have to fight her first. Song can't believe that his sister is protecting someone who has brought so much destruction to the Bloodstream Sector, but she explains that Yi Zhang isn't doing it on purpose. This is all just part of the difficulty in refining elixirs, and she explains that the Patriarch thinks the same thing. Yi Zhang is elated to hear that he is so well understood in the Bloodstream Sector, and Song is sent home. He leaves for now, but explains that he will be back to defeat him once the Patriarch's patience runs out. Yi Zhang points out his innocence, but Jun explains that Song is right about the Patriarch, and warns that Yi Zhang must hurry to make the Grade 4 elixir. Sometime later, Bai is of course still refining, and the people in town are delighted to see that the rain falling has an unexpected fragrance. The rain also has unexpected side effects though, as people begin to have to run to the bathroom. A little while later, all the toilets have been ruined and the only one left is in Song's house. Song is more miserable than ever now and vows to get his revenge. More time passes and Jun warns Yi Zhang that they are close to the deadline the Patriarch has set. 
Furthermore, Yi Zhang has caused severe damage to the sector, and if he has nothing to show for it, then he will be severely punished. Yi Zhang keeps trying to say something, but she interrupts him once more to state that everything will be okay, since no matter the result, she will always protect him. He finally gets to speak though, and reveals that he has managed to refine the elixir. Just then, the Patriarch arrives to examine the pills, and determines that all five of them are high quality grade 4 elixirs. He is extremely pleased with Yi Zhang's immense talent for pill refining. He points out how amazing this contribution to the sector is, and announces that from now on, Yi Zhang will have the same status as the Song family's direct descendants. Nearby, Diviner overhears everything, and announces to everyone that the plague demon Yi Zhang has finally finished refining elixirs. Since it's all over, they all rush to return to the peak. That night, Yi Zhang feasts with Grand Elders from the other peaks, as they want to bond as fellow sector members. Yi Zhang acts like an honored guest, but chooses not to drink with the others. Just then, another elder reveals that the pills he refined are greatly beneficial to every peak. The reason they are meeting is to explain that a great war is coming, so they all want to unite as a clan, and Yi Zhang agrees. Yi Zhang explains that he needs to meet with Jun later that night, so he cannot drink much, but we then see that he couldn't resist. Yi Zhang barely manages to make it to his meeting with Jun, but she seems a bit upset since he is late. She goes on to say that she is aware of the other elders being interested in him joining them, but reminds Yi Zhang that he belongs to Middle Peak. He now has the same status as Song Family Direct Descendants, and as long as he doesn't betray the sector, that will never change. She gives him an item to prove it, but they end up in each other's arms. Their moment is interrupted by Song, and Jun instantly states that Yi Zhang must be taught about the dignity of a Grand Elder. He has disrespected a superior, and she orders him to clean up Middle Peak as punishment. Afterwards, Bai does just that, as observers say that he is getting what he deserves for flirting with the Grand Elder, and are glad to hear that he even has to clean the toilets. Diviner joins in on the mockery, but Yi Zhang has had enough and shows them all the amazing pill that caused hair growth and cured everyone's constipation. Everyone takes off running, and Bai reveals that it was actually just a normal key boosting pill. Yi Zhang grows more upset as he states that he didn't do anything, and that Jun went too far. The other Grand Elders reveal themselves, and Yi Zhang wonders if they are there to mock him as well. The Elders laugh as they explain that they are not there to make fun of him, they are there to save him. They explain that there are certain matters that they should have told him earlier. Sector members who tried to be indecent with Jun were all castrated alive by her. Even the Bloodmaster of the Nameless Peak had almost become her victim. Yi Zhang wonders if they simply came there to frighten him, but they state that they are all close friends of his. They don't want to see him so miserable, and ask that he come with them to their three peaks so that he can refine grade 4 pills for them. They proclaim that they mainly want to free him from Jun's grasp, but instantly begin asking for the exact pills they want him to refine. Of course the three can never get along, and while it seems like they're about to fight, they decide to play rock paper scissors instead to see who gets the first refined pill. This doesn't settle things though, as they then begin to offer Yi Zhang several different gifts. Some are body refining techniques, and others are the green pill puppet. As they argue, Bai thinks about how this is the perfect opportunity to further increase his influence in the bloodstream sector. Yi Zhang expresses his concern about how bad things always happen when he refines elixirs, but the elders assure him that he can wreak havoc as much as he wants, and they won't say anything. Yi Zhang is intrigued, but Jun arrives once again to remind them all that Yi Zhang is a member of Middle Peak. He will be for as long as he lives, and will then be Middle Peak's puppet when he is dead. She asks Yi Zhang to confirm this, but the words are quite frightening to him, and he remembers the warning given to him by the other Grand Elders. He takes off running as fast as he can, agreeing to make the other Elders pills, and Jun tells him to never come back. Afterwards, the Grand Elder of Corpse Peak is eager to have Yi Zhang start refining pills, but Yi Zhang wants to make sure that he won't get in trouble for any mishaps that might occur from it. The Elder agrees to take full responsibility, and the two go to the blood pool where puppets have already been prepared. The green puppet that Yi Zhang was promised earlier is there as well, and the Elder states that it's the same one that Yi Zhang created earlier. Yi Zhang is then given the pill formula and medicinal ingredients. The pouch also contains the rarest and most special materials. Yi Zhang promises not to let him down, and the Grand Elder announces to all the Disciples in Corpse Peak to not enter the Corpse Raising Workshop for any reason. No one is allowed to interrupt Yi Zhang's work, and anyone who does will be executed. Yi Zhang begins, and Shan watches from outside, disappointed as he just finished rebuilding the workshop. 
Back inside, Bai reads the very complicated process for making the puppet pill and is amazed to see that this pill will help the Bloodmaster's black puppet directly reach the flying puppet stage. Its power will be comparable to the core formation realm and it can then be used to control all the puppets in the sector. Unfortunately, this will surely put the spirit stream sector in more danger and altering the potency of the pill would be too obvious. Yizang figures that the only way to avoid those things is to give himself the authority of control without changing the potency. Bai then uses what he learned from comprehending the pill wall and remembers how all beings are now at his disposal. This being the case, Bai decides to turn the green puppet into a pill furnace to brew the puppet pill. The first step to refining the pill is easy enough, but it still requires absolute precision. He creates cracks in all the puppets and inserts the pill into the green puppet. Sean watches from outside as the ground shakes, and he realizes that Yi Zhang is probably going to destroy the workshop again. Inside, Bai notices that something is wrong and determines that the blood liquid is contaminated. He is currently on the final step, so he must rush to purify the blood. He manages to do so just in time and finishes the first stage of refinement despite all the obstacles. However, just then, he realizes that black energy has begun to disperse out and he wonders if Corpse Peak will be okay. It isn't okay as the black smoke spreads and spectators begin to have visions. Sean determines that the smoke is causing everyone to hallucinate regardless of their power level and determines that the Grand Elder will have to handle it. He issues orders to have the Elder informed but doesn't realize that he is talking to a rock. The Grand Elder would eventually return on his own though and wonders if Yi Zhang's pill refining really could have caused all the chaos. He doesn't think it's that bad, but we see that he is about to inhale the smoke as well. The other Grand Elders hear about the situation and realize that the rumors about Yi Zhang's refining really are true. Back in Middle Peak, June is furious as she believes Yi Zhang never appreciated her efforts. She explains that he was flourishing and getting carried away with his success, so she quelled his magnificence to stop others from being jealous of him. She admits going too far by making him pick up trash but is hurt that he didn't correct his mistake and even colluded with outsiders. She hopes he never comes back and states that she doesn't need him anyway. Back with Bai, he comes to the most crucial part and begins to perform Puppet Refined Blood Reversion. He will separate the Blood Reversion Puppet Raising Pill into primary and secondary pills. The process is a bit taxing, but he manages to do it. He states that he will give them the secondary pill and keep the primary pill for himself. Bai exits to tell the Grand Elder that he is finished, but is startled to see that a hallucinogen has spread through Corpse Peak. He realizes it was due to the black smoke and does his best to save as many as he can. Sean is the first to wake up and realizes that he was just talking to a rock. He explains that Yi Zhang is the only one unaffected, so he needs to report back immediately that everything is connected to an eagle in the sky. Of course there is no eagle and Bai looks to the sky to see that it's actually the Grand Elder that is hallucinating. Sean uses his undead friend to attack the eagle and states that he has eliminated the evil for the good of the sector. Just then, the elder seems to have a clear mind again as he angrily approaches Yi Zhang, and Yi Zhang reminds him of his promise to not hold him accountable. The elder attacks anyway just as Jun arrives to stop him, but Yi Zhang does it himself by showing the elixir he made. The grand elder stops his attack and begs for the elixir, but Yi Zhang explains his concern that the elder will turn against him once he has it. Yi Zhang threatens to destroy the Grade 4 elixir, but the Elder apologizes and agrees to stop. The Elder is concerned that the pill might be fake though, so Yi Zhang simply gives it to him. The Elder is in awe of the legendary Grade 4 Blood Reversion Puppet Raising Pill and is certain that his peak will rise above all others. Bai, however, thinks about how once the secondary pill is used, he will consume the primary pill himself and all the puppets in the sector will obey his orders instead. He watches just as Jun leaves and realizes that she came to protect him. Sometime later, Yi Zhang returns to Middle Peak and Jun wants him to acknowledge his mistake. Yi Zhang refuses as he gives her an elixir, but she rejects it as she thinks he relies too much on his refining skills. He points out that it's not an ordinary pill, but she explains that even if it was a grade 10 pill, she would reject it. The two begin to fight as Jun states that she will not be manipulated by him. He made a fool of her by going against her and she refuses to forgive him. June regrets putting her faith in him and the two break the bottle, revealing the elixir inside. 
She is amazed by the spiritual fragrance pill and Yi Zhang explains that it's the perfect grade 4 pill for her. He had run out of herbs while making pills for the blood sector so that is why he went to get ingredients from Corpse Peak. He did all this to refine this one pill for the person he wished to offer it to the most. They have hurt each other too much to continue the relationship so Yi Zhang states that from now on she is the Grand Elder and he is Yi Zhang. She stops him from leaving but can't put together any words, so he simply says his farewell. Thanks for watching part 17, 6,000 likes and I'll know you want a part 18. Also, all other parts are in a pinned comment below.